Hi guys, today I want to talk about cron jobs. So you might have heard this term a lot before, um, before even you have come across Swift or Webflow or backend or anything else. So you can just go to your database page, click on extension, search for PG cron and enable it and you are good to go. So what are the benefits and what can you do with it? I've already explained you, right? Like you can maybe delete a task every week. You can run edge function. You can do that too. So similar to edge function, you can do external functions. You can edit your jobs and stuff like that. And yeah, that's it. Like if you want to just unschedule it, you can just unschedule it and it's gone, right? So there are like different measures you can use. Hey, you can use minutes, hour, day of the month, uh, day of the week, day, etc. Uh, there was like I want to also do seconds so I'll also sh uh, show you how you can do it seconds so it's just this syntax like uh, 1259 and seconds so let's do that so first uh, also there's like trigger dot dev if you want to do open source or directly uh, if you want to use uh, open source stuff and if you want to directly write the JavaScript to do so so yeah and if you I'll, I'll show you how you can do that and how what I do with it yeah so basically what it does is so basically what this code will do is like it will create a test table if there is no test table and then it will create a function called insert random name what does this function do is it will create a random name and uh, it will insert person prefix person in the scope prefix and just a random letter right Schedule. there's the name of the job again and there's the function remove this 10 seconds remove this but if you want to do for minutes this is the uh, scheduler you will do so again let's use that here let's remove this for now I haven't tested it so while uh, 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 well. let's remove this for now yeah Oh, it was just means small. Yeah, we don't need that. Yeah. Perfect. Let's run this. Whoops. We have to remove this one. So now, uh, perfect. So we have the scheduler. There's the 12 scheduler I have made. I don't know why, but this is the scheduler I have made, which will run every 10 seconds, and and it will uh, insert a insert a random name in the table. Let's go to this table. I think it's already did one, right? So let's refresh one. Yeah, uh, one more we have. And you can see, I think it's, yeah, this is the second, right? 21, 31, right? So we are already there. So let's refresh one more time. And we got this one, right? So it's working perfectly. And now let's uh, unschedule it because we don't want to run it forever. I think this was the one. Let's unschedule this one. This is the name of the your cron job, and it will just unschedule it. And a schedule is equal to true. And let's go to the table again. At least random tables don't worry about these uh, RLS security. Uh, so yeah, these are the one. And now you can do anything with it. So what I do is I have this app called Hi Shop, not app. Uh, the site called highshopify.com and I periodically add jobs with it and I remove jobs with it so basically any job which is like 20 days and ago I just remove it from the website so that's how I use it what you can do is like maybe you have these subscriptions your uh, consumer have and you wanted to remove them if they have not paid for this month you can do that and that's how you can do that thank you let me know if you have any questions and okay, do it.